Hey guys, what's up? It's Krista with Catnap Reader, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about The Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about this book. I just recently finished reading it, like four or five days ago, I want to say, and I absolutely love this book. I am so happy that I read this book finally. I've had it for quite a while and I've been wanting to read it for so long and I've been putting it off. I'm not sure why. I think it really had to do with the fact that I've read so many reviews about it that were saying that they loved the book but they hated the ending and that played a big part on why I kept putting it off. I'm very, very excited to talk to you guys about it. So yeah, let's get started. First off, I just want to start off by saying this book is so freaking awesome. There are so many plot twists and the story just flows by so effortlessly. This book was originally pitched to me to be about a girl who was believed to have committed suicide, although there's this investigator who does not believe that that's the case. He really believes that there's some foul play that may be involved and potentially murder. With that being said, he's willing to go to great lengths to try to figure out the truth and to try to find out what really happened to this girl. And that includes investigating her family, more specifically her father, the reclusive film director Cordova. Around the halfway point, the book does take a turn toward the dark side, but it's definitely in a good way. It was very unexpected. It was something that I did not see coming. I don't want to spoil it for any of those of you who have not uh, read the book and who uh, don't know what I'm talking about because to be honest, when I started reading this book, I didn't know that it was going to go that way either and it was actually a really nice surprise. I was really uh, wondering, you know, how she was going to work that out and where she was going to take the story, like what direction it was going to go into. I really enjoyed the way that she uh, finally wrapped everything up so I definitely did enjoy it um, I just want to throw that out there for any of those of you who are considering picking up the book just keep that in mind to be honest I was so mesmerized by this book that I ended up reading the entire novel in one sitting I was jumping back and forth between reading the physical copy and then listening to the audiobook but I was just so, so captivated by the story that I could not put it down. I do have to admit that both the audiobook and the physical book are fantastic. I recommend both of them. I don't have any complaints with the audiobook. I really enjoyed it. I know some audiobooks are not as enjoyable to me as reading the physical book. This was not the case with this audiobook. However, the physical copy of this novel has black and white photos throughout the entire book. Um, they're kind of just randomly through the book, which I really, really enjoyed. I found it to be very unique and just different, and it was something that really just took the story to a whole new level and it really helped me to envision what was going on. Um, the photos have lots of little clues and lots of information in them and it's just super super cute and I loved it. I really enjoyed that aspect of the story and I found it to be very uh, amazing that she was able to incorporate that into the book. Um, for an example, uh, basically this is you know kind of at the halfway point. I don't know how good you guys can see that but um, there are also uh, many other ones. That's just one example. Let's see here. This is an example of one of the websites that he went on on the dark web. Um, and yeah, there's many other ones. I won't show you all of them, but um, let's see here. I believe this is one of the articles. So yeah, super, super fun, uh, very interactive. I really enjoyed that, that aspect of it. I highly recommend reading the, the physical copy. You know, the audiobook was great too, but you do miss out on the photos in the book. What I did personally is when I was listening to the audiobook, afterwards I would go back and look at the photos in the book just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. And I do recommend that you do that as well if you are listening to the audiobook. The only negative thing that I have to say about this book, the one thing that really disappointed me was at the very end of the book. And if you guys have not read the book, you might not want to watch this part of the video. Uh, so I will give you guys a second to pause the video or just to exit out of the video. But basically, at the very end of the book, it really bothered me that we never got to hear Cordova's perspective. You know, they hinted at it, how he was going to tell his truth and, you know, his side of the story. And then it just kind of ended and it left us on a cliffhanger. I didn't like that. I don't know. That really bothered me. Like, I was so looking forward to hearing Cordova's perspective and hearing what he had to say regarding, you know, the story and what was the truth, you know? Did she die, you know, of, of cancer? Did she have this disease that slowly killed her or was it, you know, something else? Was it this, 
you know, witchcraft uh, curse that was put on her because she walked over the Devil's Bridge. You know, I really wanted to know. I don't know. I, I was bothered by that. I personally was leaning more towards her having the curse from walking over the Devil's Bridge just because there was so much evidence. For instance, all of the things that he took to the witch doctor and showed her, like the snake when the witch doctor spun it around and the shadow was acting strange and all of that. Like, I can't just dispute all of that physical evidence. So for me, I feel like it was the Devil's Curse. You know, that's just what I want to believe. Everybody has their own opinion. That's just my personal thoughts, but I really would like to have heard Cordova's perspective. I feel like it would have just added that much more depth to the story, and it just would have made it that much more intriguing. All in all, though, I mean, just that one little thing does not put me off from this book, and it will not stop me from recommending it, because like I said, the rest of the book was absolutely amazing, and I do still really love this novel. Other than that one thing, in my opinion, this book was flawless. I loved everything about this book. I have wanted a book like this for so long. This is definitely one of those books that is a page turner. It's going to keep you up until the wee hours of the night. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, trying to figure out what's going to happen next. It's just one of those fast paced books that I feel like you will finish very quickly because you just want to know what's going to happen. It's just one of those books that you just can't put down. I can't recommend this book enough. It has made its way to the top of my favorites list for 2019. This book was not published in 2019, but I read it in 2019, so that is why I'm putting it on the top of my 2019 favorites list. I highly recommend, if you have not already, do yourself a favor and pick this one up and give it a try. I know you won't be disappointed. It is so amazing. It's so good. I mean, this book, the writing style, the story, the plot, everything, it's just so well written. I really loved the characters. I really enjoyed them. Uh, I found myself very attached to them. I wanted them to succeed. I wanted them to grow. I really loved the experience of this book. I just, I felt like I was so immersed in the story. I, I loved that. I really enjoyed Marisha's style of writing. It definitely kept me intrigued and it kept me on the edge of my seat and I definitely will be picking up some more of her books in the future. I currently own her most recent novel that she released. I believe it's called Never World Wake. I have not read it yet. I actually just purchased it a few days ago and I am also planning on picking up a copy of Special Topics in Calamity Physics. I'm not too sure what either of those books are about, but I just know that if the writing style is in any way similar to the writing style in this book, I'm going to love it. I am planning on doing a book haul video here within the next week or two. I am waiting on a couple other novels to come in the mail that I recently purchased before I can film that video, but hopefully they will be here soon. But as far as this book goes, I am giving it 5 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend it, and I definitely hope that you guys go ahead and pick up a copy. That's all that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And in the comments down below, please let me know if you guys have any ideas for future videos that I could do. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, have any of you guys read this book? And if so, did you enjoy it as much as I did? I I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this one. It would mean so much to me if you guys subscribe to my channel. But that's all I have for you guys today. So until next time, I will see y'all later.